I did not realize how hard this video was going to be for me to record because I'm literally on my third or fourth try. So, <sighs> blessings family, Ari Mini My Aura is here and welcome to my channel, Transitions with Ari, because life is transitional anyways. So today I wanna to talk about why I think astrology does not work for most people. <laughs> This is a very interesting topic for me and I've been wanting to discuss it for some time now. So stay tuned, let's get into it. It is so hard to keep a video like this very short and sweet without getting into all the nooks and crannies. I literally had to write a whole journal down of my thoughts about this topic so I could stay on track. So here we go. I spent many, many, many years in my 20s up into my 30s reading a lot of books on astrology and not getting anything out of it. I mean, obviously, I wanted to know about me. I didn't really care about astrology. I didn't care about like <laughs> what the, the, the sun, the moon, the stars, you know, Saturn, Jupiter, I didn't care about none of that. All I cared about was the fact that I was a Sagittarius and supposedly being a Sagittarius, it was gonna tell me something, I was gonna learn something about myself in these pages. These pages were just going to tell me something about me that I did not know. And I would read through it and I, and I was like, trying to grab whatever it is that I could about being a Sagittarius and kind of picking like, yeah, that sounds like me. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not old enough yet. So maybe some of these types of characteristics have characteristics had it really developed in me yet. Um, it says that I am an extroverted individual. I'm not. I'm introverted and that is a fact. <laughs> it says that I don't hold my tongue about anything. and I'm, I'm brutally honest. That was not true. I mean, my first relationship, my first marriage, my only marriage, I didn't speak up enough. So, as I'm trying to squeeze myself in this box of being a Sagittarius, I was not really learning anything about myself and I had no knowledge of self except for my own personal experiences. And at that time that were kicking my butt and I was spiritually growing through the experiences that was kicking my butt. <laughs> but there did come a point when my spiritual growth took a stunt or it stunted because I had to de-identify myself from being a Sagittarius. Because there was one point where I even had a chart printed out, right? And this is Western astrology. I had this chart printed out. You know, it has the, um, the circle and then it has all the houses and it has all these lines going this way and that way. And that was so confusing for me. I didn't understand anything. And I, and I think at the time, my mind just did not have the capacity for that. And I know that everybody else that I knew that I was around only really identified with their sun sign. And sometimes people would be like, mm, you don't seem like a Sagittarius. Well, hell, I mean, you don't seem like a Virgo, <laughs> you know? So it's just, it's, it got just too confusing for me. And I just had to drop the idea of astrology, period. And I think when I did that, I was just able to honestly be in the, in the moment of like, who I was or who I thought that I was without attaching it to who or what 
these books were saying that I was. It wasn't until later on in my life, maybe it was definitely in my early 30s where I was introduced to a different way of understanding energy and understanding the celestial bodies. And this, I think, is far more a better way to learn about the self instead of trapping yourself into one sign. Now I am a student of astrology, but not Western astrology. And so astrology can work, but I think first we really need to understand, especially if you are identifying yourself with a sun sign, I think it's far more beneficial if you understand the celestial body. So if you say that you are a Virgo, do you understand that um, Virgo is ruled by Mercury? And what what is Mercury? What does Mercury do? Just understand what Mercury is and that we all have qualities of Mercury. And why do we have qualities of Mercury? Because Mercury represents communication. We all have to communicate. Now, how we communicate is different and it represents technology. So it's fast. It's very fast moving, okay? So if you look at the internet, you know, and how all the information is moving this way, I mean, it's the stuff going on right now, waves that I can't even see. So that that's just Mercury, Mercury alone. So what about someone who says that I'm an Aries? I don't care, I'm an Aries, like I'll fight. Okay, are you gonna box yourself into just Aries? Should you do that? No, because everybody has the qualities, some qualities of Mars, because Mars rules Aries. It would be better if you learn the celestial bodies first, which is Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, the moon and the sun, or the sun and the moon. <laughs> it would be better for you to do that because we all possess those qualities. It's important to learn how those planets positively and negatively impact you as a whole because we are all impacted by those energies. Now, this can literally be a series and I would have to sit down and really get into how I would want to present this, but there's a lot of information online too on learning and understanding the planets. But one, the main thing you have to understand is that I don't want you to just box yourself into saying that you're this one sign when you don't fully understand like what it even means to be that sign. If you have not done the real work in understanding astrology. And this is the reason why I think astrology does not work because we will throw somebody away because they're a Libra. But what about Libra? And it's their sun sign? I mean, most of, I mean, we don't really even, people don't even really see our sun sign. It's really honestly our moon sign that they see because the moon represents our personality, it represents our mind. So people see that first and our mind is constantly changing like the moon does its, has its moon phases, right? Every two days, it goes into a different house in an astrology chart. So that's the up and down, right? The feelings, one day you're happy, the next day you're not. The next day you're upset. Hey, moon could be in Aries. And now it's all fired up, you know? So we have to go deeper into an understanding of ourselves and not just stick to just this one thing of what everybody else is doing and what everybody else is saying. That's the problem with this world right now. We're so, 
We're such followers and no one takes the time. We're just talking and not really understanding what we're saying. And that is the reason why I personally had to de-identify myself with being a Sagittarius. So we need to learn more um, about ourselves and understanding how these energies work. And then I, what I would say is once you understand how the planets affect your life, then you can get into studying astrology and learning what your sign is. Western astrology is a little tricky, but a lot of people do, do go by it. I, I really want this video to be focused on people really just understanding the planets and how all of the planets actually are in you, okay? So if you like this video, family, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment. And if you want me to talk more about this, because I think that I will, it's just, it was very hard for me to convey my message in this video. And I'm I'm still new to, to YouTube, but I'm trying to be consistent. And it just takes a long time sometimes for a preparation like this particular video. So until next time, family, peace. Mwah. And then once you understand how the planets actually are affecting you, how they impel you to do things, then you'll learn more about yourself. You'll say, oh, wow, I'm angry right now. This is that Mars energy. That's what Mars energy is. And ooh, when I get angry, wow, is that what this is? Because sometimes it's not being angry. Sometimes it's just being very passionate. You know, you hear people say, I'm not angry, I'm just passionate. That's a Mars energy. You have Jupiter in you. That's where you get your optimism. And if you don't, if you're not optimistic, maybe it's not as prominent in your chart. Hey, you may be more pessimistic. And that's, you know, a quality of, of Saturn. You may be, you may love to sing. That is a quality of Venus.